and his wife, very dear. I met these people, you know, and I of Amran and many other people. They said the truth also. They were also punished, but now it's time to say it. You are putting it. Even though without words, you are putting health. It's not what you eat, it's with what you eat also. That's beautiful what you said. Well, the logo of my practice, you are what you eat with. With. Beautiful. So here is the mill, you know. So take the mill and give them a pill, that's all, and pay the bill. That's everywhere now. Money talks. <laughs> Not health or truth, money. But anyway, it's good to be and play the game of the river is rivering and what you are doing you know, here in the States. So what you can offer to the viewer, what can we tell our beloved people now watching this new light? What can I offer to the viewer? I can offer to your viewers absolutely free, the most comprehensive consultation they ever had. Allah. in dentistry. They're welcome to call me and their consultation will be free. All they have to do is mention your name. That's it? That's it. Oh my God. Just call. Yes. And sure, I will put your name and your phone number and your email. and But not phone number because people, they have to call. But the, you, they email you and you have people or time to answer. Yes. So we have a good connection with each other. I hope we do. And you'll be invited, you'll be our guest, and come to the Arab world and see what we can do together with all this. Venice. Moreover, if your, if your viewers will have questions to me, addressed to me, I will be able periodically to answer them directly to your viewers, if you prefer. Yes. You see how we'll be connected, because really we need this health consciousness. If you come, it's like the Arab world, so much sickness, cancer almost everywhere, big hospitals. You know why cancer is growing? What is this immune system? This is the beginning of health, it's here. This is the starting point. I will not be here today if I will not have all infections in my mouth removed by an old dentist in Germany. That was the first thing that led me to eventual recovery. So I understand how important oral health is and I don't take any shortcuts with my patients. Sharp and short. That's what truth is. It's quite simple. So simple. We go to complicated things, you know. It's like, oh, this is much better because we don't understand it. You know, all the prophets, they said it in so simple way. Unless you become like a childlike, not childish. Look at the lilies, look at the trees, look at nature. So I can see it. You are here planting peace, because if there is no health, there is no wealth. If there is no health and no wealth, there is peace. Why war, Edward? What do you see? Why you are killing each other all over this planet? I wish I knew the answer. It's much better to have a bad peace than a good war. And I think communication will help and the lines of communication that our new president is offering now to everyone over the world, I think will lead to much better, much healthier, much more peaceful world in the future. To support our president so the president also can share your love and his love and our love, this nature, you know, hope and change and health. The other day he was saying, are we safe if we kill the others? That's a great sentence. 
I'm very hopeful and very, very happy that our president was elected and I wish him the best. Yes, because if, if we all support, you know, this cake is from this dough. That's right. So if we support and change ourselves, but the change, as you said, it comes from eat my body and drink my blood. What Jesus said. So there is no more bread, there is no more water. What do you say? What are we eating? What are we breathing? What are we chewing? With what are we chewing this? What are the, all this medical, the dentistry are going to say when they hear your words? When Huda Clark spoke, almost everyone, they said, she's right, but we have to use what we have. There are a lot of restrictions, and dentistry is a very difficult profession. Very difficult. And very sacred. And very sacred. And there are a lot of restrictions on us, because the time restriction is one. What I'm doing takes longer, much longer. This is not the dentistry that will lead me to become a rich man. But I eat once a day, and it's quite sufficient. That's good. Let's share. You know, do you have a time? When do you eat? Or what yes. do you eat? Yes, yes, I eat around noon time, mm -hmm. and it's very much based on Indian Ayurvedic tradition. Beautiful. And it's absolutely sufficient. We don't eat much. Can we share this? Yes. Was great. Absolutely. Because we have many people, and one of them, that we are in love of this Ayurvedic medicine. Oh, absolutely. Thousands of years old. Absolutely. And proven to be absolutely perfect. Let us share it. We, you know, promising ourselves, one of them, that we keep on with this sacred Last Supper, or whatever we say eating with the Christ, with the Prophet, with children, and with Mother Earth. So what will be your lunch every day? Usually some fresh fruits, usually some cooked fruits. Okay. Sometimes it's cooked fruits, but... Never prefabricated, never ready-made, always from scratch. And simple. That's so beautiful, it's true. Is it like what Anne Whitmore? Because Anne Whitmore has so many, you know, lovers and students oh, sure. in the Arab Disciples, world. Disciples, absolutely. Yes. All the raw fooders and all mature disciples, they are very, very good friends of mine. And, uh, I, I like both. I like well-cooked food by nature and uh, as well as the raw foods and I don't think there is a big contradiction between the two. The combination of both probably will give us vitamins and minerals and enzymes that we need from raw foods as well as ease of digestion from well-cooked mission. Yes, many people came to meet you with terminal cases. I know. I healed and also. I studied with him and I love him. Me too. Very fine person. And with Anne Whitmore, you know, it's like when I was with her in Boston, it was very cold. But in San Diego and Miami, it's warm and hot weather. And it's easy. Yes, it's easy. So this is what you work one meal. Usually in the Middle East, in Lebanon, we say, the breakfast, let it be king's meal. Lunchtime, a prince meal. In the evening, a poor meal. It's like good breakfast. So one meal a day. One meal a day. Yes. I went to many Vipassana retreats, and one meal a day, and sometimes no meal for 36 hours for the people that all yeah. students. It's like many nutrition methods. Yes. Which one to know that it's good for me? How can I choose with all this now all over the planet?